Hi, I'm Amber Stevens. I'm the Center Director for the Kumon Location at Avery Ranch and Parmer. And this is step two of a parent orientation for my families who have early learners. So early learners are considered at Kumon students who do not read independently and do not add independently. So usually the ages that we cover for early learning will be from about three years old through kindergarten, sometimes into first grade. And um, this is designed, this video is designed to be watched after the initial parent orientation video. That one is a big, large overview of Kumon. Um, it shows you the curriculum and all of that. This is more of a deep dive into the early learning section of the curriculum and details about early learners. So here we go. How does Kumon help early learners? So we definitely are helping kids to get ready for kindergarten or to be successful in kindergarten if they're already in school. We will be helping them with improved cognitive skills, um, work, what we call work skills at Kumon, focus, concentration, um, paying attention to how quickly they're doing something. And the work she said they'll start with will be engaging and colorful. We will help the students sharpen their pencil skills. These are some examples of the worksheets in what we call the Z level at Kumon. And these are add-ons, add-on worksheets with either, um, if a student's doing reading, reading only, they can also have added on Z. And if a student's doing math only, they can also have it have added on Z. And then obviously if they're doing both, they would just have one set of Z. So what this is, is um, we're working on strengthening the children's like we're working on a good pencil grip and then we want for them to be able to use their fine motor skills effectively so that they can eventually write well-formed letters and numbers. And so this is a precursor to that. On the math program, what we'll be working with is one-to-one -one correspondence and counting and then number sequencing and then um, filling in the blanks on again, number sequencing with the correct stroke order of writing the numbers. This builds us all up to eventually adding and subtracting. So we're learning to count and then reading numbers, understanding the sequence, sequencing of numbers, learning to write numbers, and then learning addition. So that's the process of the early learning section of the math worksheets. On the reading side, we start with look, listen, and repeat exercises. Um, there's a little footnote at the bottom of the reading worksheets and it explains this look, listen, and repeat process as I say, you say, we say. So what that looks like in class is I would say the word, I would ask your child, or no, I, we would say it together. That's that I say, we say, you say. Um, I would say, okay, um, Isabel, go ahead and say this with me. And then we would say it together. Then I would say, all right, Isabel, now you say it all by yourself. And then she would say it by herself. And so that's the way that we do this. It's very interactive. It's kind of like a game where we take turns. I take a turn and she takes a turn. I take a turn and she takes a turn. And then the same thing happens when you're at home doing your child's um, reading homework with them. So what we're working on developing first is pencil skills as well as, well as recognizing familiar words and um, phonemic awareness and print awareness are also studied or acquired, I guess, in this, these levels. And then we work up to learning letters and sounds and then eventually reading aloud. So those are gonna be the phases of the reading program. So valuable character traits that we're helping your kiddos with at this age, I mentioned focus, concentration, perseverance, they'll be increasing their confidence. Um, and working on concentration and focus. All right, top five benefits of Kumon's early learning program, improving focus. This is a big one. Some of our kids, whenever they're, you know, three or four or even five and, and sometimes older, don't want to sit down and focus on something. And it's a, it's a good skill to have and it's a good skill for us to start cultivating. Um, following directions, that's, a, you know, a part of it that is important and, and if kids have been to school before, usually they, they are pretty you know practiced at this. Um, something that's important, you know, that's how we teach via the Kumon worksheets is gonna be following the directions. So um, it's an important part of what we're doing. Developing independence, that's our goal for each student. If you remember independence is where we're headed for everyone, independent readers, independent adders. Um, of course, they'll always have a guide and assistant to help them through the process at Kumon, um, but we do want them to be able to work independently. 
um, building confidence, and then also just becoming organized. Come on, helps with all of that. So success begins with a strong start. Um, myself and my assistants are um, all, you know, well trained and love working with kids. That's why we do what we do. And so um, you'll be meeting us soon. Um, of course, your role at, in your early learners, Kumon is going to be really vital. Uh, you'll be doing their homework at home with them. And the, what I recommend to parents is that you would just imitate as closely as you can what we do with your kids in class. Um, and so if you are doing Kumon on Zoom, then you would be able to see that during that class. If you're not doing Kumon on Zoom, we would invite you into the classroom to be able to observe how are we, how are we doing that in, in person. So some tips for Kumon, um, creating a distraction-free area. You wanna make sure the toys are away. You wanna make sure that it's um, set up with like low, low distraction area. Um, guiding your child through Kumon, you'll want to take particular note to the instructions on the worksheet up here and also those footnotes at the bottom of the worksheet. Not every worksheet has footnotes, but many of them do. Every worksheet has instructions, and that's just how we know what, what process we're doing the work in each time. We'll work on developing important study habits. Um, we'll be working on time awareness, which a lot of early learners are not used to, you know, being aware of the time or trying to race a timer or, you know, things like that. We'll work on concentration, confidence, and organization. And then you want to establish a consistent homework routine. And you also want to be a great cheerleader for your kiddo. Your enthusiasm is going to help them learn a lot. All right. So I believe the next thing we have set up would be the placement test. I look forward to meeting you then. Thanks so much.